Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can analyze spreadsheet data that looks like this using AI powered knowledge graphs that look like that, that show you what are the main ideas inside this CSV spreadsheet, how they're related to one another, and that allows you to also filter them by different values. So for example, in this case, I can see which videos have more views, what content they have, and which ones are less successful, like um, is shown here. As an example, I will be using the videos from our own YouTube channel, so this might be interesting for those who are creating content for YouTube. But if you work with spreadsheet data uh, that have text and numbers, it will be interesting for you because it will provide you a really good way to visualize some patterns inside your data. So if you're interested, keep watching and I'll demonstrate how it works. I will be using the app that's called Infranodus that I developed that can visualize any text content as a network, showing you the main concepts inside and how they're related, identify the main topics using the built-in AI, and helping you better understand the patterns in your data. In this demonstration, I'm going to use a, an extract of videos that I did from our channel. It's about 200 videos that we have. And uh, the spreadsheet that you, you see right now on the screen contains the title, the description, the duration, and then uh, the number of views, the number of likes, and so on. So what I did, I actually created two additional columns. One is the relation of uh, views to likes, because I would like to see which videos get the most likes per views. So that is a kind of like a criteria of success, right? If people watch it and they like it, it means that, that they're really engaged. So that might be really good data to have. And then I added an additional column here, uh, that says views range, so it's uh, how many views the video has. But instead of just using those numbers that I have in this column here, I actually created uh, ranges of those values. So I decided to make five of them, uh, less than 500 views, from 500 to 1,000, 1,000 to 5,000, 5,000 to 10,000, and more than 10,000. So I have five different categories, and my task is to explore what kinds of videos, what content actually gets the highest engagements and the highest view range and which content also works less interestingly. So this is why I created those two columns. I have the CSV file, I save it as a CSV file and then I go back to Infernodos. I open the apps page and then I click analyze new content, upload this CSV file here and when you import it, what you need to do is to say what you want to analyze. So in this case, I'm just going to start with the titles. I could also include descriptions, but first I just like to go with the titles because they're really important for YouTube recommending your video to your viewers. So I'm just going to start with the titles here. And then here on the filter panel, I will say uh, which panels, which columns I would like to use as filters. So here I'm going to use the engagement range that I created and the views range that I created. Then I click next save this graph with a new name, click visualize. And what happens now is that Infranodus extracts the content from this column here, title, and the text is represented as a graph where the concepts are the nodes, the co-occurrences are the connections between them. And then if the words or the concepts tend to appear in the same context, they will have the same color and they will be closer to each other. So this representation, which is called force atlas layout, allows me to see very clearly what are the main clusters of ideas, right? So if these are all the videos we have on our channel, this visualization provides me an overview of what this content is about. So I can see that it's about AI powered graphs, then it's about text analysis here, keyword research, idea generation. So that kind of gives like a really nice overview of the content. I can also click here and see more topics. I'm also talking about AI chats, uh, creative thinking, content analysis, and so on. Right, so the first thing that I like to do when I see this visualization is just to read this kind of high-level ideas and confirm whether it makes sense. It makes sense in this case. I do make videos about AI graphs, text analysis, keyword research, and idea generation, but now I would like to ask the system, okay, what are the least popular videos? So I will select this filter category here, less than 500 views, and see how it's different from the rest. So I click here, I still have Infranodus because this is the name of the tool. I have market dynamics, text analysis, research, AI conversation. And then if I click on the videos that have more than 10,000 views, and actually if I click shift button, I can select several categories at once. So I'm also gonna ask it to do 5,000 and 1,000. 
let's actually get rid of 1000. So we only have more than 5000, more than 10,000. And I can see that here, it's actually much more about AI, YouTube video channels, thinking and text analysis. But most of the content is actually about AI and chat GPT. So that gives me an idea that those videos that have more views, uh, I will be talking about AI, chat GPT and YouTube video analysis inside. So this would be actually quite difficult to uh, get from this spreadsheet. You would probably need to run some formulas or additional extensions and also it would just look really boring. And here you have a really nice visual representation of this content. I can reset this filter if I click on show all again and then I can ask it to show me videos with the highest engagement rate. So it, here as it's a relation between the views and the likes, the lower it is the better because I want to have more likes per view, right? So I'm going to select the lowest range, 10 to 20. I can see what are the main topics. These are identified using a combination of network analysis and AI. So I can see that the videos with the highest engagement, they're talking about graph analysis, visual thinking, keyword research, text generation, but videos with the lowest engagement, they're talking about more technical stuff like text network analysis, discourse analysis, Google keyword analysis, and so on. So if I would like to create videos that would have high engagement and more views, I would probably have to focus less on the specific topics, which is a shame, but unfortunately that's how the recommendation algorithms work. If you don't search for it, you will not find it. So I would have to focus as a creator on those topics here that have higher engagement, right? Graph analysis, visual thinking, a bit of keyword research still, uh, AI and so on. In fact, I can see that in almost all the graphs I have in front of this AI, uh, which are quite big on the graph. So what I do, I select them and hide them from the graph because all the different descriptions, they always have uh, AI and Infernotus inside. So I'm gonna hide them and see the context around, right? So this is the visualization for all the videos that we have on the channel, text analysis, idea generation, Google research knowledge graphs. Now let's try again to choose the ones with the lowest engagement here. So the higher is the number, the lower is the engagement, marketing, knowledge graph, content generation, and text analysis are quite big. Highest engagement, okay. Knowledge graph is much higher engagement than video uh, insights or YouTube insights and file discovery or keyword research, but kind of connected to also analyzing files. So maybe CSV files, for instance, and so on. So that gives me a clear idea that if I want to make engaging videos that YouTube will push because it already probably learned all this uh, using its own algorithm, I have to focus on knowledge graphs, graph learning, uh, YouTube, video inside. So that would be kind of like the two topics I would explore. And I can also confirm whether uh, it's true using this filter here. So let's see the most popular videos on the channel, what they're about. I select views that are more than 10,000. Again, knowledge graph, chat GPT, YouTube, and the least popular ones. So for example, ones that just have a, let's say more than 500, but less than 1000 views. What are they about? Keyword research, sentiment analysis, chatbot creation. So you see this more technical stuff don't seem to work so well, at least for this channel and with the views, right? So I still find those topics interesting. And of course I will make content that is relating to them, but unfortunately YouTube is not pushing them as much as when I make something about AI or YouTube itself, which means that, uh, you know, um, I will have to be strategic with the time that I have and make more videos about the topics uh, that YouTube promotes. And maybe for those more niche topics, I can create articles on our website. So people who search for them, really, they would still be able to find them. So this is how it would work as a general overview. Let me know if you have any questions about this process. Try it out with your own CSV files. Um, if you don't know what CSV files are, um, you can always create a spreadsheet file using LibreOffice, which is free, or Excel, and then you just export it as a CSV file or save it. And basically, you have the file, and then you can import it into Fernodus and start working with it. I hope you found this helpful, and I'm open to hear from you, your feedback, your questions, and your comments. Thank you.